I'm helping my father out just to have a look and see if we can improve anything. You have, uh, you have challenges with your knees and your feet. They were operated. Your knees were not operated, right? This one. This one was operated. One time and mm -hmm. So what we do in order to make sure that we can actually train his legs, uh, well in his abdominal strength on the back also and his glutes and so on, is that uh, we will just not have him go too deep into the squat as uh, this might be nice for mobility and for overall strength also, but we can achieve really nice results, really good stimulus and grow his legs by just not going too deep, but rather until where the, where the hips are on the same level as the knees. This will be enough. So we just uh, take a look at your normal two-legged squat. Okay, if you want to, let's go. Uh-huh. Nice. Okay, a little deeper, you can go deeper. Yeah. Can you go kannst du tief again? Stehe ich auf dem ganzen Fuß, auf Everything is nice. You, the, the weight is nicely balanced on your feet. So I already told him beforehand that when he lowers in the eccentric movement, he's supposed to go as slow as possible, so langsam wie möglich, während du runter gehst. In the, in, in the upwards way, in the concentric movement, as fast, as explosive as possible, which stimulates even more testosterone release post-exercise. Okay, that's really nice, yeah. Richtig schön langsam nach unten, so dass es brennt, sieht gut aus. So that it's burning on the, on the downward way. His legs are his legs are as apart as his shoulders. This is fine. Konzentriere dich mal auf einen Punkt hier unten, auf irgendeinen festen. The closer we look during an exercise, uh, and the more fixed the point, the more actually the muscles start to contract well, because the the contraction of the eyes to sharpen a closer picture is directly related through the nervous system to the contraction of the muscles also. So we would never fixate a point that is too far away. This would actually relax our muscle tissue. Is there any way I have to look at my breath or? Uh, inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth, I would suggest. Well, there are different methods, but you would, I prefer to inhale in the eccentric movement, in that case when he goes down, inhale through the nose and exhale through the, through the mouth. Through the, mouth. The, the last repetitions where he is actually not doing the whole range of motion, there is where you get the most hormonal ben benefits. A large release of hormones. Okay. Okay, so you, my dear father, you just uh, mentioned the same problem that many people have when they um, do the front squat with uh, already sometimes quite heavy loads, such as the black band. Uh, the shoulders and the upper body starts to get tired way before the legs do. But we want to train the legs. So in order to cheat or uh, hack this problem, we use the squat belt. From, from Dr. John Jackwish, which is not uh, placed on, on, the, on the stomach region to build uh, body pressure from, from internal, from internally, but actually it's rather located on the hip area. You can turn around again. Like a backpack. Like a backpack. And now we just use the band uh, doubled, we double it and hang the X3 bar on the squat belt. So now, his leg training is not limited by his upper body, but all the weight is nicely distributed on the hip. hip. So let's see how he does this the first time and how, is, how it goes with him. Focus on the point before him. 
Slow, 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 slow. Especially when you go down. Go really slow. It can even help if you place your hands here on the shoulders, like cross, to maintain a, a, a straight posture. Maybe place this feet a little bit more outside. This here. Uh -huh, nice. So now he has the possibility to really focus on his legs and, and he, will, he will be able to, to train much deeper, more intense into the legs. So now we see that his right feet is hurting. So we would prefer to go down a band, to use a lighter band, because we don't want to stimulate any further injuries in his feet. So now we replaced the dark gray band with the light gray band because we can still stimulate really nice muscle growth also especially when you focus on what you feel here don't put your concentration your thoughts anywhere else just concentrate on your legs so this is especially for the people who really need help because they don't have the time to research they don't have the time to experiment they don't want the risk to injure so why not just text me send me an EDM and let's work together book your free consultation your free strategy call and we sort out how we can help you how we can optimize your exercise your nutrition your sleep hygiene and your whole process you see he's not going down deep at all but only this upper range of motion this small range of motion can still quite effectively train his legs, reap, uh, well, harvest the hormonal benefits and give him all, all just overall a good feeling, a good physical sensation for the rest of the day. Activate this fat burning, trigger some hypertrophy, some anabolic growth response. Okay, 23 repetitions. Now we're going to torture him a little more. So now you have 90 seconds up here. So you just breathe. Just stay up here. Stay up here. And now breathe into the into the stomach, <coughs> not into the chest. <coughs> breathe into your stomach. Inhale into the lower upper body and you stay here for 60 seconds more. Really focus on activating the, hip, the legs. Imagine as if you have something in between your knees, push your knees together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now you're not completely, you're not completely extended, but you're a little bit into the knees and you just stay here for 30 seconds more. Now we're harvesting some good benefits. 25 seconds more. Feel how you're shivering. Yes. Yeah. This is what we want. Now his stabilizing muscle fibers are activated. They are firing and they will su sustainably uh, activate really nice metabolic pathways in the following hours. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Now come down slowly. Thank you very much. Okay, so now in the split squat, while Andy is arranging himself, uh, the the squat belt, I uh, we we used to put it on the other side, other way around. The front feet is going above the bar, so the bar is between the legs, and of course we use the lightest band possible, the white band, just to make sure that we can get this blood flow into his legs because he's already quite tired. We just want to reap the, le the last benefit, the last quantum, squeeze the lemon a little bit more. So he is pushing on his front leg to stand up and from now on foot in the middle of the, of the plate. Okay, it's fine. No, 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 do 40 repetitions, it's not too light. We, we, now we really just want to get some blood flowing. We don't want to go 
too intense now because now also the the injury risk is a little higher in the end when he's already tired. Some people might critique that the bar is not completely leveled, not completely horizontal, but that's actually can be a benefit because now his abdom abdominal area, his whole stabilization uh, structure of his body, particularly the horizontal, the vertical and the diagonal uh, abdominals on the front and the back, they have to make sure that his body is still level. In nature you will never find a completely horizontal plane, you will never find a completely balanced object. So actually naturally we are adapted to always have slight imbalances that we have to balance out ourselves. So I would uh, judge this positive aspect. Yeah, so of course his range of motion is not complete, it's not full, but this is like I said not necessary. We also do these analysis, these correction, vir completely virtually. You send me your videos daily and I give you feedback, I correct you, I have a look with you, how you really get the optimal result out of your precious time. Yeah, now, now he's also feeling it. It's not always necessary to go the heaviest. Uh, now we can really also have go a little bit into more the bodybuilding focused area where it's higher volume, higher repetition. Uh, quantity and just lower weight which also like like I said the muscle strength and the muscle mass both are important for uh, the longevity now we even uh, we now we even yeah okay he's done <laughs> super now I get him to feel alive again with his 60 years